How you guys doing today and welcome back. A lot of you were asking how I did the color change effect in my last video. You remember this one. Alright, so it's actually pretty simple. There's a few steps involved and there's a little bit of critical thinking. So you're going to have to make some adjustments on your own. This is just an idea of how to do it. So it may not come out exactly like this. So just bear that in mind. This is just advice to come up with and just an idea to give you. If you plan it out, and especially if there isn't too much movement in the subject, it makes things a lot simpler. So let's dive into Premiere Pro and let's check this out. So the clip that I'd like to use is already on the timeline here. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna move this up to layer number two. So I wanna change the color of my glasses here. So let's pick a color that we wanna use. Head over to new item over here and then click on where it says color mat. Click OK. Select a color that you think would look good. I think green is a cool color, so let's select green. Call this green, hit OK. I'm going to drag green and we are going to move it underneath. I'm going to hit the C to cut, take the razor tool and uh, cut there. Select V. Highlight it, delete it, we don't need it anymore. Okay, so you're not seeing anything. Neither am I. We can change that. So head over, make sure your effects panel is open. Then uh, click on effects over here and where the little magnifying glass is, type in ultra key. Okay, so it's under video effects, king, ultra key. Grab that and drop that onto your clip. And so then head over here and grab the eyedropper tool and select in the white, in the glasses. Okay, the green has already come through, but now we have this whole mess behind it. So we're going to get rid of that. So we're going to head over to matte generation and uh, just play with it until it's gone. So, okay, that looks pretty decent. Um, you can always mess with it until it looks a little bit cleaner okay that looks a little bit similar to how i had my background before okay great now we've got green glasses okay so now the next thing that we're going to want to do is we want to change the color of the shirt here so let's uh let's take the eyedropper tool and let's select a color on the shirt so i'm going to select the red and you can see right away that that looks terrible and uh, I don't think I want a green shirt. Let's uh, let's make it a blue shirt. Okay, great. That also looks terrible, but we're going to fix that. So we're just going to mess with these settings here until it looks about the way that we want it to. And... Uh... Okay, that looks pretty decent here. Let's... Uh... Looks pretty good, but I noticed that my lips have changed color here. So what we're going to do is grab the pen tool under Ultra Key, and I'm going to make a mask around my lips. Okay, now we're going to want to invert that. And uh, now I am wearing a blue shirt, and my lips are a nice clean color. And like I said, you pretty much have to adjust it to the picture you have, the lighting you have, the colors you're using. So you can't go exactly based off of what my settings are and what I'm using, but this should give you a pretty good idea of how to get there. It's pretty easy to do and it looks pretty awesome. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, remember to like it, subscribe if you're new here. If you share it, I will love you forever and I will see you guys soon. Oh, and don't forget, comment down below if there's anything else that you guys wanna see. Catch you guys next time. Peace.